Abigail and the Balance Beam. If ever there was a little girl who couldn't wait to grow up, it was Abigail. Every night before she went to sleep, she'd mark another day off the calendar. Every morning, she checked to see if she'd grown taller. I just know it will happen soon, Abigail would say to herself. But even if she wasn't there yet, Abigail loved doing grown-up things. You love doing grown-up things too? You need out of the house? <laughs> you need to calm down. Don't grow up so fast. Somebody needs to tell little Abigail this too. One of Abigail's favorite activities was gymnastics. She loved the costumes and the competition. Abigail would practice over and over to get every step perfect. Today was the last practice before the final meet of the season, and Abigail worked as hard as she could. As she practiced, Abigail could hear her mom calling from the stands. Abigail, you're doing a great job. Abigail's mommy needs to tell Abigail to calm down. She's a little girl. Go play tea party. Some days, though, things didn't go quite the way she wanted them to. Abigail whisked through all of her routines. <laughs> but when she got to the balance... <laughs> but when she got to the balance beam, she fell off every time. First she weaved, then she wobbled. Try as she might, she just couldn't make it to the end. Abigail wondered if she could ever do it. Come on, Abigail. Why are you so hard on yourself? Just a teeny tiny bunny. Bunny? Yeah, she's a teeny tiny bunny. I'm Abigail? Abigail? Not Abigail. <laughs> I don't even know where she comes up with half this stuff. Abigail was very quiet leaving the arena. She was thinking hard about her balance beam routine. I'm so proud of you, Abigail, her mom said. You're going to have so much fun on Saturday. Thinking about fun made Abigail smile. Abigail always felt better after talking with her mom. Finally, the big day arrived. Abigail put on the pink leotard her mom had made just for this day. Looking in the mirror, Abigail thought she looked just like the gymnast on TV. She practiced putting one foot in front of the other, like she needed to do on the balance beam. I can do this, she thought. Abigail was very, very excited. At the arena, the whole place buzzed with anticipation. The people in the stands waved and clapped as the gymnasts warmed up before the meet. Abigail could barely contain her excitement as she stretched. This is so grown up, Abigail thought and smiled. Abigail loved doing grown up things. Man, doesn't she realize you become a grown up, everything gets dull and you have to pay bills. That's how it goes. As Abigail hopped onto the trampoline for her first event, she couldn't help worrying about her balance beam routine. She was thinking about it even as she bounced and twirled and dared to do the Hungarian belly flop twice. An unusual move, said the judge, and we like it. Abigail couldn't help but smile, pulling out Hungarian belly flops. I don't know what that is. She talented. When it was time for the floor routine, Abigail really put on a show. No one else had thought to use hip hop as a music choice. Abigail almost forgot about the balance beam when her slip and slide and popping and locking brought the crowd to its feet. She could hear people yelling, Abigail, you're doing a great job. Popping and locking it. <laughs> Next, Abigail twirled on the uneven bars. She flew through her routine. It was amazing to see Abigail hook her little feet around the bar and spin one more time before a perfect dismount. The crowd went wild, but now Abigail was thinking so hard about the balance beam. She barely noticed. She couldn't stop thinking about falling off. Abigail wondered if she could ever do it. She jumped onto the narrow beam and balanced. One step, one jump, one handstand. 
And then it happened. She wobbled. But this time she didn't fall. She made it all the way to the end and stuck her landing. Abigail's teammates gave her a high five. Coach patted her on the back and said, Abigail, you're doing a great job. Abigail sat with her mom and waited for the award ceremony. I'm so proud of you, Abigail, said her mom. But I wobbled, worried Abigail. I bet if I were older, it would have been perfect. Being grown up isn't about doing things perfectly said Abigail's mom. It's about doing the best you can. And that's exactly what you did. Abigail smiled. Abigail always felt better after talking with her mom. May I have your attention, please? Blared the announcer over the loudspeaker. The award for the most points earned across all events goes to Abigail. Abigail, please come forward now to accept your prize. Abigail won the biggest prize of all. Was it a hug from her mama? Because I think that was the biggest prize of all, but whatever. Abigail hugged her mom. Yeah, see? That's the biggest prize. Abigail hugged her mom and then ran to the podium. This was the most exciting day of her life, and she wasn't even grown up yet. As the judge placed the medal around her neck, Abigail beamed with delight. I love it. The end.